Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 29 of Direwolf20's Let's Play of FTB Sky's Expert Mode. I have been hanging out in the nether for the last, I don't know, 15 minutes or so, uh, farming nether mobs, specifically with a focus on Wither Skeleton Skulls. Um, I got enough, but then also via quest reward, I got some extra. I think you get three Wither Skeleton Skulls for that quest. Um, but just farmed a little bit extra because I was just kind of sitting there doing some stuff. Uh, with that said, I now believe... Aha! Complete! Sweet! That should be uh, what we need for Abra's Open Conjecture, which is used to summon an Afrit. Uh, so the Afrit is... Um, yeah... Is, is where we get Afrit Essence, which we can use to get... A bunch of important stuff like red chalk but also uh it's used to make ender chests or ender tanks uh and that's that's going to be pretty cool i'm hoping skystone is not completely out of the picture right now moonstone oh we may actually not quite be able to do this yet i was i was doing this and you know what it, it occurred i looked at all the things on the outside and was like yeah i can do that i forgot to check what the inside is uh looks like skystone which is moonstone oh boy that May not be. Uh, I got to assume that there's no way I'm going to get Moonstone before going to the moon, right? Like, that's very likely the case. Um, although, apparently, I can trade for some Skystone if I got a villager and put a charger next to him. Maybe. 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 That could be cool. Here's a stick. Well, we'll see if we can do that. But one way or another, we have this thing ready to go. And would also lead to a better spirit. Because um, Abra's Open Conjecture... Is that the one I just did? Did, did? Yes. Abra's Open Conjecture can also be used to summon um, a better Crusher Spirit. Now, I need Isnium Dust, which I don't know how to get. But I have some. Because I got it as a quest reward. I got, I got four... Eisneum as a quest reward. And when I asked the FDB folks, like, hey, how do I get Eisneum? They said that they're adding it in the next version. So I think soonish we'll get Eisneum doable. But as mentioned, like, the, the uh, having a better crusher would be cool, right? Primarily because, um, oh my, repeatable quest. Enable centipede spawn. Ooh, disable centipede spawn. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. I like that. I like that. I hate centipedes. Though they're dying now automatically, so I'm kind of okay with them existing in now. But that would have been nice back in the day. Anyway, where was I? What was I saying? I was doing things. Um, I don't know. I lost track. Right, so I got my Eisneum as a reward. The Crusher would give me more ore doubling, right? And then it would also be faster... And that would be cool. Now, this guy doesn't seem to decay. And I'm wondering if the Tier 3 Crusher also would not decay. So I feel like using my the Eisenium that I have with the goal of getting might not be a terrible idea. right? All I need to do to really make this happen uh, would be to get a Book of Binding Afrit, um, which should be doable. right? Bing. And then I just need some Purple Dye, which ooh, I have Source Berries, but I don't want to use them. Do I have Purple Tulips? Right. I think I have like one source berry, so I don't want to use that. We have some purple mystical flowers, so I could easily just do this and then this. Right? Is that cool? And then I'll leave one in there, and then I'll do that. And then, are you just purple dye? Awesome. Double awesome. Cool, 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 and cool. And then you guys combine, right? And then I can give you my Eisneum Dust. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. So I think there's going to be a way to get it in the future. Hopefully I'm not wasting the Eisneum that I've... But I've, I've had it for a while now. And like I said, I got this as a quest reward. Um, apparently there's another quest to get it from there, but I got it from another quest reward, I thought. 
Actually, maybe I got the E's name does from a question mark. Actually, I have no idea where I got it from. Maybe I got it from a chest? Where 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 does this live? It's not Hexerai, it's occultism, right? Uh, mastering the occult. I don't see anything in here about Easnium dust. Is there a search in this guy? Oh. Somewhere along the way, I got Easnium dust. That's all I know. But in theory, I do this and this, and then a diamond. Which I've been getting from the sheep, remember, and an emerald. Boop, boop. And this. Abra's conjecture. Maybe I did Abra's open. Is this different? It might be different. Is that a different pentacle? Ah, Abra's Conjecture requires red chalk. Oh, so I actually need to do the Ifrit. Okay, yeah. So this is the wrong pentacle for this. Uh, when I read Abra's Conjecture, I thought it meant like the same. It's different. There's an Abra's Open Conjecture and then Abra's Conjecture. This is the open one, I think. So it's the wrong one. Yeah, we need the other one, which needs red chalk. Well, let's get some Afrit Essence then, right? So to get this dude, uh, it's Netherrack Quartz. Gunpowder and flint and steel. Um, so flint and steel. Do I have any other stuff handy? I don't, because of course I don't. Give me an iron. I sh yeah, let's do a whole iron. I just want to try to get this guy to dupe stuff. And then also we should check on our um, fuel source, and then we should look into making more diesel generators, right? Does that sound like a, a smart plan for us? So I don't need you spinning, but how's our how's our fuel going? Everything cool over here? I feel like it should be, right? Like we should be super good. Look at that. Look how much we've got almost 32 buckets of biodiesel. And like we're doing really good on the vegetable oil. We're actually producing vegetable oil faster than we're using it in the fluid mixer, which is cool. Now I could if I wanted to, but I don't. Uh, but I could go ahead and did you guys break again? Yeah, something keeps breaking over here. That's super annoying. It's probably the toggling on and off thing, like I said. Um, I'm gonna have to stop you because I have, yeah, the other thing's happening. But something's going on with that toggling on and off, and I have to figure it out. I think, um, if I could, uh, do something a little bit smarter, what I should do is something like turn it on when we're at 4 and turn it off when we're at 4.5, and that would be cool. I can, I can probably do that with some vanilla redstone magic. We'll figure it out. Not too worried. Cool. So you guys do this. So our fuel's doing really well. We're probably going to want some more engines, right? Because we're generating 256 stress units here, right? As a reminder, with biodiesel in a diesel combustion engine, uh, we will be able to generate 2048, which is pretty cool. I don't know what all these things mean, what that cycling thing means. Huge diesel engine? That might be the huge diesel engine. But the modular one, I'm pretty sure, is 2048. That's cool. Yeah, huge is probably that. So, like, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So, one diesel engine should generate more stress units than all of this combined. All my water wheels, right? Am I right about that? Am I right? I'm pretty sure because it's like 10 times and we have nine water wheels, right? So, yes, that would be. That's just one diesel engine. And we're going to have like. More than one. So we'll see. Um, so let's let's finish where we were at. So I was I was getting this so that I could get the flint and steel. That's right. So one of you, a nether rack, and a nether quartz, and a gunpowder. Boom. And that's going to summon an Afrit, which I'm going to then have to kill. Uh, I think I have to sacrifice something, though, don't I? Uh, sacrifice a cow. I can do that. I can do that. I have cows. Oh, 
Settle down, sheep. I'm here for the cows, not you. Just wanted to make sure I had enough cows. So you're with me, buddy. And you escaped, and that's a shame for you. Alright, cow, you're with me. Dum -dum 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 -dum. Don't worry, everything's gonna be fine. It'll be fine. It'll be good. Don't worry. Don't worry. Just avoid all the fire. And and the skyfall and all that stuff. Yeah, just come over here for a sec, would you? Pretty sure all I have to do is that. Did I do that right? Hey, purple particle effects. That's probably a good thing. And now it's gonna it's gonna do its thing, right? So uh we know this takes a while, so come back in a minute when it's when it's done. Yeah. And the Afrit spawns. Now, by the way, mobs in the nether, the, the, the nether mobs, drop golden swords with looting two on them. So I'm going to try to get the final hit on this thing with a looting sword. We'll see if we can pull that off. I don't know how crazy. I should probably have some armor, right? I should probably have some armor. I don't know. I've got, like, ridiculous food. Maybe I'll be okay. I don't actually know the answer to that question. Probably be, like, up here or something. This might, this might be, I don't know. I didn't think this through. I should have had armor going on, shouldn't I? Oh my goodness, that's a lot of... Well, he's not too bad. And luckily, blazes ain't terrible. Come on, buddy. Now, as long as I... Oh, nope. That's not good. Well, I led him to my spawn, so that's cool. Now let's try and kill him with this, right? Got him. Got him. It worked. Woot. That's cool. And we got two Aphrodites, so that's nice. And now it's just a matter of dealing with all these blazes. What in blazes? Which shouldn't be too bad. Ow. Okay. Everybody cool? So I got two Aphrod Essence for that, which is nice, right? Uh, and that's used for Red Chalk, which we're going to need if we want the better Crusher. And then we'll also use that Aphrod Essence for um, apparently a quest for it, but that's pretty deep end game. Oh, I get a Creative Source Jar. Okay, neat. Uh, and that's also what we use to get our two Ender Tanks if we decide to, to go that route. So that's... That wasn't so bad. Oh, well, I mean, it was, a little, it was a little bit hectic of a fight, but like not end of the world, right? Not crazy terrible. So then I can get you turned into... So I want impure white chalk, which needs other world ashes, which is other wood. Okay, and then that's that, and then that's that, and that'll get me you, which will turn red. And now we have access to another form of of coolness right i'm cool with that now let's talk about the next abra's conjecture now rather than abra's open conjecture right so that's where the ifrit spirit comes in um this dude is abra's conjecture which is a different layout okay so what i'm probably going to want to do is brush up Let's turn this off for a sec. I'm just going to clear a majority of this out. Make sure that you're set. Okay. So you're also going to need skeleton and weather skeleton skulls. And this one needs purple and red chalk. 
And we might need more white chalk shortly because my white chalk is getting low on durability. It's cool. Do we have extra candles? We have four. How hard are those to get again? Just a little tallow? Yeah, we have enough for four more. Cool. And then you. And what am I missing? I'm missing a few blocks. Did I miss... There we go. Done. Cool. Awesome. And now we can get another one of these books. And that will get us a better crusher, which will be cool. Right? So you guys all go away. We'll do one, two, three, four. And this will be the tier three crusher. Now, to be fair, there is a tier four crusher, which is the best one, but that needs a block of Isneum. And since I have no idea how to get Isneum, we also need a gas tier, which I don't have, and blocks of diamond, which I don't have. So I think tier three crusher is where we're going to want to be right now. Cool. So that is awesome. Good deal. So we'll come back when he's done. Hey, look. Summon Afrit or crusher successfully. What's up, buddy? So now if I gave you some ore right, some raw ore. I'm just gonna give you some like iron, right? And I'm gonna start with just one. How fast do you crush it? That was fast. And it's 4x multiplier, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Whereas this dude, one, two, three. So he's twice as fast, and he gives you an extra ore multiplier. Does that sound like a huge win? Because to me, it sounds like a huge win. All right, so all I need to do then... Oh, look at this. I got a unique jewel and some other cool stuff from Mob Drops. Yeah, I forgot that you were vacuuming things up. Um, so then what we want to do is get rid of you. I'm trying to think about how I can get a ghast here so I can pick him up. But for now, I'm just going to lead him away. Because the other option would be using like a, a there's like a occultism way to, to do that, but I don't want to use diamonds just yet. I want to save them for I need diamonds desperately kind of deal. Can I sneak you into this position? You really don't want to go there, do you? I don't blame you. Look, I don't blame you for not wanting to stand in there, but like, hey, bro. It's kind of tall too, which doesn't help. Maybe I can kind of push him a little bit. Come on, get in there. You know you want to stand in that position. I know you do. Maybe he's too big for like a one by one area. That is possible. I may have to... See, look, the occultism did the thing again. I don't know what causes that. It kind of go, just comes and goes. I have no idea why. It's very weird. He might be too big for, uh, for this area. Is that possible? He might need like a two by two spot kind of deal. Which if he does, he does, and that's fine. We'll figure it out. But you stand there, sir. Nope, it doesn't want to let me place things there, does he? Nope. Try not to, like, overlap the existing... Maybe I could sneak him in there. Um, I'll get him in a position off camera. This is going to be really boring to watch, isn't it? All right, hopefully that's pretty cool and that he can't get out of there. I don't know if this will cause a problem or not, but I mean, I could always do like that, but I, I don't know. We'll see. But now uh, I can just hand him like, you know, that and he'll like 4x multiplier, right? Super cool. I say super cool. 4x multiplier on ores, 
plus twice as fast as the other one. I call that a win. So now I'm thinking I might actually be able to do Loot Fabricator and Simulation Chamber. I'm pretty sure I can make these. Um, the only thing that we don't have easy access to is Netherite. But if you remember, I found Netherite inside one of my chests when I was doing the, the exploration, right? So I think I can get that, and that would be cool. And then, um, real quick, talk to me about this. How hard would it be to, oh, Fluix Researcher profession? Is that the only way to get a charger? Because you were like, yeah, I can do this. I was going to say, like, I could get this to get stuff before Moon, but looks like I have to, like, get a Fluix Researcher profession. Before I... That's the only way I can get an Applied Energistics Charger? That stinks. May not be able to do that. But I can still, I think, do this. So I think it might be worth trying. Let's see if I'm right about that. So I think I can pull this off, right? Because I can make prediction matrices. Right, provided I have uh, some kind of glass pane. Right, and some gold. I feel like I could probably just get more than that. So are you happily like 48, by the way? Uh, you're not. Something broke again over here, I bet. Uh, nope, something didn't break. Why are you all glowy? Oh, because I left you on. Okay, well, that makes sense too. We're super close to being able to do, like, the diesel thing. But I, it, it occurs to me I might be able to pull this off. And that might be a fun way to get some uh, some cool stuff. Cool. Because if I took this, I can pretty easily get gas tears. That'll unlock quite a few things. Having the ability to actually run simulation and loot fabricators. Because we have so much from um, hostile neural networks that we could, like, do some good things with. And we've got all three types of mob, so we would have access to, like, resources that we don't currently have access to. I'm just thinking outside the box, but I think it would be doable at this point to actually pull that off. All right, and could you please do me the favor of running again? Oh, good, you can. Cool. So make, make pressure. All right, so then uh, what we would want is some of you. Boom. That's doable. Uh, and then we would want Loot Fabricator. Definitely doable, right? Well, I'm not forgetting something, but I think this is doable. Simulation chamber, and that's cool. Now, they require a lot of power, but like, you know, probably something we could pull off, right? Okay. So then if I got, like, I don't know, blazes. It doesn't really matter which one I get, but a blaze is how I would, um, that's you, and then you. Please insert a basic model or better. Do I have to kill the six blazes first? I guess I have to kill the six blazes first. Um, do I need the deep learner? I'm guessing I do guessing I do okay luckily that's not hard either okay so that's quest complete sweet look at all that loots and complaining poker frog light okay thank you I guess Mob farming and you. Model framework. That's cool. And then we can put you away. And then in theory, I put this in here and I go kill blazes now. And then I have blaze. So I just need to sit here for a few minutes off camera and kill blazes. Are there any other that I should be building up? Um, probably Endermen, because I know they spawn in here. And that's I'll take weather data or weather skeletons too, because they also spawn in here. So if I put all three in here, can can I learn all three at the same time? Let's find out. Yes, I can. Perfect. 
So I stand here, I fell arm those three types of mobs, I get them at least to tier one, maybe even tier two, uh, and then that would be super cool, right? So I'll come back in a few minutes once I'm ready. See? And there's an Enderman. Told you all three of them spawned in here. I was just in here earlier killing these dudes so that I could get the tier three crusher, so. Just coming back to recharge my shield a little bit. Magnet off, please. Look how much loots I got, though. All kinds of good stuff. See? Another looting two sword. That one actually has a lot of durability on it, too, so that's nice. Uh, and then I usually just trash these guys. Cool. But we already have enough for um, Endermen. We're just waiting for more uh, of these guys. So I'll be farming more off camera and be right back. It's ironic that I came in here specifically looking for, for Blaze models. And, like, Blaze is the one that's least... Like, I've already got the basic Endermen, and I'm getting a lot of Endermen. Believe it or not. Like, a lot of it. I'm going to have, like, you know, the Tier 2 Endermen before I get the, the Blaze one, I'm telling you. Blazes are rare. Ooh, I get a Wither Rose for killing Wither Skeletons. That's cool. 500 XP. Better not die. I might, I might go home and just real quick store that. And then back. <laughs> slash home slash back. Cheaty, yes. Awesome, also yes. All right, we got basic mm -hmm. Blaze model. Nice. I can just slash home this. It's a little bit quicker. All right, so now Blaze model would go in here. Where, where in the, oh, it's probably in the, yeah, it's a bauble. I forgot. Cool. All right, so I'm going to backpack you, and you can go in there, and then you guys can do that. And you're going to use energy to do things. How cool is that? So you are going to get filled up. This thing has all been running while I was in there, right? I assume these guys, actually, they're not chunk loaded, so no, they haven't been. Okay, cool. Okay, so now you're getting generalized prediction, which means I can get gassed tears now pretty easily, right? How cool is that? I don't know how much, so this is 256 RF a tick. So like it, it, it definitely costs more RF than we have production wise right now to make this happen. But like, okay, I'm okay with that, right? Let this run a little bit. So now I've got gas tiers, I can do mob imprisonment tools with the plastic that I got a couple episodes ago. And that'll be cool, because that means I can, like, pick up my other crusher, like the tier 2 crusher, just in case I ever need him, and store him for future use. Right? And then remember that, oh my goodness, look how much iron I have. Oh my goodness, it's so cool. It's so good. Isn't it so good? Thank you, demon, for being awesome. Okay, uh, so that's a lot of iron dust that we're going to have to, like, smelt now. <laughs> I don't even know how we're going to do that. Oh, it's crazy, though. It's crazy. All right, you guys are at 2%. Maybe now's a good time. Um, so, real quick, I don't think I can do, unless I'm missing something, I don't think there's a good way to get my ender tank because I actually need a sky stone tank, which is a bummer. I was hoping I'd be able to do this today. I thought I had everything I needed. Ooh, and I need an induction smelter to get quartz glass. So this this being part of the ender tank stinks. Um, I think I can do ender chests. Well, no, because I need a sky stone chest for that as well. Okay, so yeah. So I thought I might be able to pull this off, and I did have everything on the outside. I just didn't have sky stone, which is a bummer, right? Um, and like I said, I assume moonstone is going to be gotten on the moon. Yeah, I don't think there's any there's any getting around that. All right, so let me think for a minute, and we'll be back. Um, yeah, I'll be I'll be I'll be right back. All right, so here's the plan. I'm gonna transition to diesel engine now, uh, and the way we're gonna do that is by picking you up. Actually, if I leave you there, can I just do this? No, that only grabs a bucket. I can do that. That's cool. All right. So look at all that. Look, we got so much awesome so much biodiesel everything i love automation it's the best how are you doing down here by the way are you still spinning you are and we've only at 45 percent. it's so good so good i love it when a plan comes together 
right? So obviously this is turning all its sugar into the thing. So yeah, that's key. Uh, let's go, let's go diesel engine this thing. So am I right to assume that we can replace this whole setup with a diesel engine and that would be cool? See, look, you keep breaking and I don't know why, but we'll figure it out. Um, cause I'm kind of tired of having to deal with the water, right? So what I'm going to do is we're going to get rid of the water. Okay. We're going to get rid of the water. Okay, and that stops all you guys from spinning. And we could probably use them at some point in the future, kind of like we did before. Okay, but you guys are all basically broken at this point. Um, and probably. So are you. Okay. Um, so now we've got our diesel engine here. Now remember that should be cool. And then in theory, it's just a matter of that. Okay. Now I want to get my tank here and we want to Fluid transporter it because the redstone signal piece doesn't work super great just yet. Um, so once the redstone signal piece is better, that would be cool. So would this be 590 or would this be like a lot more than 590? It's a lot more than 590 because they're all different stacks, right? So it is a worst case scenario of stackage. You guys chilling here for the time being, okay? Just, just, just a place. Fluid transporter. Uh, and then bucket of biodiesel, and then shovel our way into here. Boop, boop, boop. Okay. Uh, actually, you know what? I don't want you to be here. I want you to be. Do you have to be on the? Do you have to be on the bottom? Because that stinks. Can you be on the top? I bet you could be on the top. Because I wanna, I wanna easily turn it on and off. And and unlike the previous mod that these are based off of they do not respond to a redstone signal and there's no clicking with a red no that doesn't happen right um so that's cool so i want to make sure that however i do this it's easy to toggle on and off right and i was hoping i could do it here because it's like face level um it looks like it's either bottom or top is where I can insert into. I guess that's not the end of the world, per se. Per se. I don't love it, though. So that means I'm going to have to do this. Oh, I guess it's not terrible, terrible. Right? But then remember, the key is to whitelist regulate mode and then put this thing in so that it only inserts 50 millibuckets, right? So now you're joining 2048 stress units, which is better than all the water wheels combined. And that's pretty cool, right? I would say so. Now, why are you guys broken? I don't know. Because for some reason that breaks things. Why you break? You shouldn't be breaking. That shouldn't be a problem for you. Are you like spinning the wrong way or something? It's possible. Maybe I want to spin it the other way. Stop for a sec. Maybe the other way? I'm not sure how it was going before, so. Why are you not let me place? Don't do this to me now. Why aren't you letting me place it? Okay, I don't understand. It's cool though, right? Okay. Now are you going to let me hook this up again? 
Nope, apparently not. And you're gonna drop my cogwheel into the void, which is rude. Why don't you want to let me hook you up? There's got to be something somewhere causing a problem. Right? Because you're literally just spinning. Yes. Am I missing something? I mean, aside from all the dire wire that I'm trying to trying to resolve here. Nope, you don't want to spin that way. Why don't you want to spin that way? Literally nothing on this whole network is spinning. It doesn't matter. Nothing is spinning. Right? There's no spinning happening. Alright, I feel like I just have to, like, break stuff and replace it, and it should hopefully fix. I just don't want to break too much stuff. Oh, now you don't even want to go there by yourself. Explain that. Oh, is it too fast? It might be too fast. Could that be the problem? Could be, actually. You may not need such speed. That might be the problem. It's too fast. Usually not a problem, but turns out it's a problem. Okay. Yeah, because I bet it's the diesel generator is running is rotating faster by default. Yes. So that makes sense, actually. Uh, so we just may not need such shenanigans, right? Uh, that could be cool. What's all this mess about? It's a big mess, isn't it? It really is. I might actually still need you guys. Yeah, let me get this all and I'll be back. You know, it's pretty much wrapping up point for the episode. So I'm going to like clean up some of my dire wire here and then we'll come back next episode and uh, have a cleaner setup, uh, which I think would be cool. Does that sound, that sound like a plan? I think that's a plan. All right, for now, wrapping up point. Uh, that was my sign off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. We'll come back next time and uh, and get more, more clean, I think, is the key for sure. Definitely wrap it up point. So for now, hope you guys enjoyed the episode. We'll come back next time. Take it easy.